Congratulations on your well-earned retirement. Those of us who grew up here in Washington, D.C., have been watching you for decades. We're going to miss you. We love you. Enjoy, but come and visit us often. For over 36 years, folks all across Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. have tuned in to Fox 5 for the outstanding weather reporting of Sue Palka. Sue, on behalf of a grateful state, congratulations on an amazing career in meteorology, and we wish you all the best as you move on to this next exciting chapter in your life. Thank you. Congratulations, Sue. Congratulations on your retirement and wonderful 36-year career. Because of your diligent reports, Northern Virginians, like I used to be, were equipped with the right sweater, the right parka, the right overcoat or umbrella that they needed walking out the door each and every day. Your optimism shined bright, and it will absolutely be missed. There you have it, the leaders of the district, Maryland and Virginia, paying tribute to the one and only Sue Palka. Sue said goodbye to the Fox 5 Weather Center last night after more than 30 years at the station. It's great tribute from the yeah. leaders around the mm -hmm. area as well. Mm -hmm. Special honor for our former chief to ensure that she'll never be forgotten as well from here at the station. Take a look. As we move forward in this new building, we are excited to announce that our weather center will forever be named the Sue Palka Weather Center. crying here across the DMV, Sue, on your last day at Fox 5. Boy, it's a tough one for us all, but we are so happy for you and your retirement. A huge congratulations for you. You've always been a bright spot, even on the rainiest days, Sue. I hope you know how much you are loved and how much you'll be missed. Hey, when you got the governor of Maryland and competing TV stations wishing you well, you know you've done something right. Sue, congratulations on 36 awesome years. You are a kind, genuine soul. It's been an honor to be able to work with you in the short time that I've been at Fox 5, and I wish you all the very best. She's honestly one of the most impressive, impressive persons I've ever met in my life. She's always a team player. Uh, she's just a beautiful person. Hey, Sue, congrats again on your retirement. Definitely well-deserved after the legendary career you've had. And just want to say thanks again for all your support and your words of encouragement whenever you saw me around. So congrats and enjoy. You have the most beautiful and kind soul. Thanks for always being up to do a TikTok dance with Angie and I. I will miss you so much. Love you. Sue, I still can't believe that you introduced yourself to me on my first day at Fox 5. You're truly the absolute nicest person I've ever met in my life. You're an absolute legend. We are going to miss you so incredibly much. Congrats. For 20 years, I've had the gift of calling you my friend. The viewers love you because they know you really are that wonderful person they see on TV. So we toast your long career. We toast your generous friendship. And most of all, we toast you. Love you, Sue. That was a sweet goodbye. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, such a great tribute. And Sue really has been the welcome wagon for, for right? literally a couple of generations of people mm -hmm. here now yeah. uh, over the decades. Always the first one to welcome somebody when you're in. Um, even for me, the first day, before I even got hired here, first day at the station, <laughs> ran into Sue. And she yeah. was like, hey, here you're coming from Pennsylvania. That's where I'm from. Yeah. The conversation was on from there. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, at least we'll get Sue in little small doses here on Fox mm -hmm. 5 still. And in case you missed it, Sue also had a very special message for Fox 5 fans before she signed off. Take a look. The um, naming of the Weather Center in my honor. Wow. You know, when I announced that I would be stepping back from my weather duties back in January. Oh. Please let me get through three sentences without crying. Come on, Mommy, come through. <laughs> I spoke about how grateful I am and will always be to WTTG for taking a chance on me, sticking by me for over 36 years. I wanted to mention that I was hired in 1985 by a legendary news director named Betty Endicott. I had little experience. As you know, I was expecting the first of my two daughters, one of whom is behind me here, my Nora. 
Liz had to take the babies home. And you know what? I'll be forever grateful to Betty and those who came after her, including our current general manager, Patrick Paolini, for keeping me here. I'm a grandmother of two now, and guess what? Number three is arriving this summer, so I think my timing's pretty good. <laughs> but how does life go by so fast? Another important truth, though, is it's you, the viewers, that have stuck by me, and that's why I'm still here. I am profoundly humbled by the trust you have shown in me, and you have my everlasting gratitude. It's remarkable. Almost 40 years here. Wow. <laughs> a lot of people have grown up watching her, so uh, it's a bittersweet day. But, mm -hmm. I, I mean, uh, it was said they are well-earned. My goodness. I yeah, mean, she, she's put in the work, raised her kids, has grandkids now with another one on the way this summer, I believe. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, well deserved and well earned. Yeah, Congratulations, setting time Sue. for her for sure. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right, legendary status continues, Sue. And we know we'll be seeing you uh, down the road as well uh, in different capacities. Yes. So still mm -hmm. be a part of the team here at Fox Five, which we're so happy about. Congrats, Sue. We love you, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again real soon. It